Will Charles Oliveira ever be champion? That's the question we're going to dive into today, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, you know, Charles Oliveira was champion whenever he defeated Michael Chandler back in 2021. He defended his title against Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje, and of course, we know he lost it to Islam Makachev back in 2022. He then beat uh, Benil Dariush and was making another title run, but then unfortunately lost to Armand Sarukian earlier this year by a uh, decision. Now, in my opinion, I feel like Charles Oliveira still has it in him to give out pr uh, pretty competitive fights, if I'm just being honest. Um, but today we're going to dive into that question. But before we go ahead and do that, all I ask for you guys is just to please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and like this video. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Charles Oliveira's potential uh, path into potentially being champion once again. Now, I think that Charles Oliveira is two fights away from getting a title fight, if I'm just being completely honest. Now, the person that I wanted to see Charles Oliveira challenge next is Mateos Gamrot. But of course, we know that Dan Hooker and Mateo Gamrot are targeted for UFC 305. So it's going to be a minute until we see Charles Oliveira back in the octagon, because I think that Charles Oliveira is definitely going to fight Mattel's Gamrot if he's able to beat Dan Hooker. And I know that Mattel's Gamrot is definitely going to be looking at Charles Oliveira's way so he could take away his ranking and potentially move up in the lightweight division. But in my opinion, I feel like Charles Oliveira fights Mattel's Gamrot, he potentially beats him, and then he has another fight in front of him. That fight could potentially be the loser of Islam Makachev versus Armand Sarukian. Now, those are incredibly difficult fights for uh, Charles Oliveira. We saw how, you know, he got dominated by Islam Makachev. And depending on how you look at things, some people might agree, some people might disagree. But I think that uh, Armand Sarukian was definitely getting the better of Charles Oliveira whenever they faced off. I don't think it was that close, in my opinion. But I feel like those two fights stylistically are incredibly difficult fights for Charles Oliveira. You know, Mattel's Gamrot has an 80%, you know, win percentage right now in the UFC. I do think that he's going to get through Dan Hooker. Um, let's just be honest, Dan Hooker, you know, he's not the same fighter he was a couple years ago. He has a lot of injuries. I feel like Mattel's Gamrot is definitely going to beat him. He's going to call out Charles Oliveira, and that's going to be a very, very tough fight for Charles Oliveira, in my opinion. You know, even if he does get through someone like Mattel's Gamrot, who's going to be a very, very tough fight, I feel like the top two guys, like I said earlier in this video, Islam Makhachev and Armand Sarukian are just the kryptonite for Charles Oliveira to ever be champion again if I'm just being completely honest because stylistically they just have the superior style but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below the reason why I made this video is because I made a poll like yesterday saying if Charles Oliveira will ever be champion again and a large majority of people seem to think that yeah he will never be champion again but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as always it's a pleasure peace out and have a good one